Welcome. This is 49F10 and we're going to talk about the electric field near conductors in electrostatic equilibrium. So what does this mean? Well, we say that um, the electric field in and around conductors in electrostatic equilibrium when there is no net motion of charge in a conductor the conductor is said to be in electrostatic equilibrium. What happens is you put charges onto a, a surface, into a conductor. Well, they want to go on the surface and they want to get as far away from each other as possible. So they spread out and they spread out until the forces on them from all the other charges are balanced. So when they stop moving because all the forces on them are balanced, then we know we're in electrostatic equilibrium. Uh, the conductor has the following properties under those circumstances. The electric field is zero everywhere inside it because it is a shell of charge. If all the charges is on the outside, then it's a shell of charge. And we worked out before that there was no electric field inside. Any charge resides on its surface. The electric field just outside is perpendicular to the surface. So we tend to get these field lines going off at perpendicular directions. They may curve when they get further away, but they leave the surface at 90 degrees. If they didn't, there would be a component to the side which would tend to move the charge to the side. So it makes sense that they are at 90 degrees to the surface. And then, let's get rid of that. And then the last one is the charge density is the least on flatter surfaces. These are, these are abstract lines, but you get more of them when there is a tip. And that's, in fact, the, the principle behind the um, electron emitter. You have a very sharp needle of a conductor, and because there's a lot of field lines right at the tip, it's easier for, say, the electrons to escape. And so um, we use, if you look inside a photocopier, there'll be a, a, a line of needles pointing where you can spray the electrons uh, where you want them. Um, so now there's the diagram here, which is uh, just summarizing some things we've seen before. On the left-hand side is a ball of charge, and on the right-hand side there is a shell of charge. And I'm showing the electric field. So the electric field is vertical and then horizontally is from the middle working your way outwards. And what we can see is that inside the ball of charge, the electric field increases steadily. That's like if we were to drill a hole through the center of the Earth. If we were at the center of the Earth, the, the, the gravitational field strength would be zero. And as we went towards the surface of the Earth, the gravitational field strength will be increasing and increasing and increasing until at the surface it would be 9.8 newtons per kilogram um, as it is. Same thing happens electrostatically. And then if you go outside the ball of charge, you get the usual, whoa, you get the usual inverse square relationship. Now, for a shell of charge, we have no field inside the shell of charge. Zero field. Outside, again, we get this inverse square relationship. There's some nice conceptual questions here, and for those people in my class, uh, it's, a, it's a good opportunity for me to break up some of the math with uh, some conceptual questions. Let's look at a couple of conceptual questions. Uh, which is the better drawing of electric field around this negatively charged and isolated conductor? So it's, it's, it's not touching ground, it's isolated, it's negatively charged. Well, the first thing to realize is that electric field lines go away from positives and they go towards negatives. It's like a boulder rolling down a hill. 
So I'm looking and saying, yeah, it's going towards, going towards, going towards, going towards, going towards. So that one's not bad, actually. This one, um, yeah, they're all going towards. That one's not bad. Look at this guy. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, absolutely not. No, that couldn't be. This one's no good because it has some of the field lines pointing away. And then the next thing, of course, is that um, we have more field lines where there's a sharp tip and so this one looks okay but this one look at this no feel lines so this one's no good incidentally this is also no good because that's not at 90 degrees to the surface um, so two reasons look at this one they're all at 90 degrees to the surface they're all going in the right direction and there's more of them where the tip is so a is the better answer and then on the second one which is the correct trace for the electric field inside and outside of a shell of charge well for a shell of charge there's no electric field inside in this case you've got a decreasing electric field inside so the answer for this one is going to be this guy b so there we have a couple of conceptual questions to end off this, this part of the course. There we have it.